Okay. Right. So here I'm just making this um, explicit. And um, then we want to return all of the uh, uh, rows. Uh, we want everything. So um, this is how you would do um, a standard cross product. Um, the natural join um, is done this way. It's just like the cross product, except for um, you keep those entries in the cross product table. You keep those rows where the S um, an SID in relation R also exists as an SID in relation S. That means that that value appears in both tables and in both relations and you want to keep it. Um, all of the others you can get rid of. Okay, uh, let me pause and uh, before I go into the new stuff, see if there's any questions about any of this so far. Okay. okay. Um, then Okay, um, I want to express this in SQL, but first, um, let me pick on somebody to tell me what this query is actually doing. How about uh, Cole? Do you have a mic? Hey. Hey, so um, what is the result of this query? Or what is this query asking for? Or what will it return? Um... Not 100% sure what the final outcome would be, but to me, it looks like you're using the union right there in the middle. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, so I guess combining, it's a way to show combining both the tables. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, it looks like you're selecting H over 48 or mm -hmm. specifying. Um, other than that, I'm not really sure. Okay. Um, can you combine all of that into just like one sentence? I mean, yeah, you get, you got all the parts. Yeah. So I guess kind of doing a cross product or combining both tables and then specifying that the age needs to be, um, greater than 48. Okay. Uh, one thing, not a cross product, no cross product. Okay. Yeah. Um, that's, that's the X. That's the cross product. Okay, um, so this uh, returns um, uh, SIDs of uh, from table S1 where the age is greater than 48. Whatever those SIDs are, um, union them with the SIDs from the first relation. That's all it's doing. So it's okay. taking all of the SIDs from relation one, and then it's adding to that these the SIDs from S1 where they're over 48. Okay. Okay, cool. Um, all right. So that is uh, uh, the, hold on, we'll grab this. Um, Great. So 
so that's the uh, relational algebra. Now, how do we do the same thing in SQL? Um, uh, select. Okay. Um, oh, let me clear this out. Um, so this is going to have uh, sort of uh, two parts to the query. Um, there's going to be the first select to capture this part, um, and there's the word union, and then we're going to select, uh, or have another SQL statement for this part. So how to get the SIDs from uh, table R1. Um, I'll just rename these tables A and B um, from R1 as A, and this one is going to be working on table S1. Um, it'll be the second table. Um, so here we want um, all of the SIDs and uh, you can just say where a.sid equals a.sid. Or you could just try where true, whatever. Okay, then we're unioning that. So we have this table. Um, we want to um, filter this select um, where age is greater than 48. And for the project, we want to return the distinct values of those SIDs. The query would probably be more written like that, without the spaces. Easy enough? Any other questions? Like I said, it's basically just learning syntax. Oh, um, let's see. Uh, this, um, uh, yeah, I should mention. So this, uh, this select statement um, in relational algebra, can I scroll up to the tables again? Sure. There it is. Um, here, well, here, I can continue talking about it here. Um, the, the select here, um, it takes a predicate, right? We, we had an entire class just talking about what a predicate is. And that's what the select does um, in relational algebra. So um, uh, the where in, uh, I hope that was enough time, uh, Hassan. If not, ask me to scroll up again. Um, Yeah, uh, this where is is the is the select. This is the relational algebra select, which means here um, goes a predicate. Okay. Now, what types of uh, elements are there to these predicates in SQL? Um, SQL. Um, you can use and, you can use or, and you can use not, right? So not surprising. That's the, these are the, uh, um, the clauses. Um, you can do equals. By the way, this tests equality. Tests equality. That is to say A is equal to B. This is not setting a variable A equal to the value of B. Um, in other languages, you might see this. This is the thing for testing equality. A double equals. This is true if A and B are true or are equal. Otherwise, it's false. And then this would be a way to assign 
a value to A. Um, in SQL, it does not have this double equals. It's just a one equals, okay? Because this is part of a predicate, okay? It's a true false thing. So there is no double equals. You're never going to be assigning anything. It's a predicate. It's something that's gonna be true or false. Okay, so just a single equals. Um, you have less than, you have greater than. Oh, um, you have not, you can say not equal to, for example, um, or not something equal to something. Um, it doesn't support the bang, if, uh, if you know that uh, as a not from other languages. Um, oh, um, this not equal to, you can also write it this way. This also means not equal to. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, you have less than equal to, greater than equal to. Um, yeah, uh, you have basic arithmetic. So that includes, um, uh, you know, uh, uh, addition, subtraction, um, multiplication, and uh, division. This multiplication is the uh, arithmetic multiplication, not set multiplication. Okay, this is this is the two times three equals six multiplication. Um, it has the words true and false. Okay, so all of these things are um, things you can uh, use in order to create your predicate in SQL. So this predicate, the same thing that would go here on um, the, or here rather, on the, on the select statement, um, that's, these are the, I don't know, uh, symbols that you have at your disposal to, to create the predicate. Okay. Um, here. All right, um, I'll save some time and say that uh, this is just like the above one, right? So this part here, select um, a.sid from r1 is a, we're true. That is the first part of this query, except here instead of uh, union, uh, this is intersect. And then everything else is the same. All right. Uh, Okay. Um, let me double check one thing. Um, yes. um, wonderful. Okay. Um, this next one is. Uh, Uh, 
um, uh, as I do, I just had to check one thing. So um, I'll make sure that I don't misspeak. Okay, um, this uh, also has a very, very easy way to write it. It's the same as above, except this minus is written as except. Um, so here's a note. Um, this is not supported in my sequel. This is supported in EG. Um, <clears throat> okay, so SQL itself is a language that was developed back in the 70s. Since then, there has been um, different realizations of SQL that have added certain features or this type of thing. Um, some of these have become very, uh, very big, like MySQL is, is, uh, is used um, lots and lots of places. Postgres, um, is SQL, but with a few um, additional things. Uh, earlier, when I told you that a set difference um, was a basic operation in uh, in relational algebra, it was a little bit of a lie because you can actually realize a set difference um, using the other operators. The way that that would sort of go is um, uh, something similar to when we talked about considering the complement of something. So um, there's a longer query that you can do to realize um, a set difference. Um, I won't give that, but it might be something fun for you to think about because I don't know, you hate yourself um, or you love or you, you just love it. And so whatever. Um, so uh, for uh, our projects and everything, we're going to be using Postgres. Um, uh, I'm just saying that, yeah, be weary that uh, depending on the uh, specific implementation of SQL that you're using. If it's my SQL, then the language and the features and everything that are supported are a little different. Um, and if you're used to one, you should review the documentation of the other. It might do something that's easier, makes things easier or um, not. Okay. Uh, let's see. All right, so those are basically all of the um, operations. Let's see, uh, are we missing anything? We have uh, project, select, um, yeah. Um, rename is implicit here. Intersection, union, set difference, cross multiplication, did the natural join. Okay. Um, so let me pause here and ask if, uh, see if there's any questions about this. As I said, it's fairly straightforward if you're comfortable with uh, relational algebra, I think. Okay, um, 
so let's see. Um, yeah, the only other thing that I really have uh, to talk about as far as SQL is something called nested queries. Um, this is uh, doing something like a like a loop, I guess, or like a nested loop. You know, like if you're programming, um, you can say, um, you know, I don't know, for our in range um, one to thirteen. Um, for it's a little for. Um, minute in range zero to sixty. Print hour plus plus minute. Right. So if you if you were to write this in um, uh, Python. Then this would print out all of the uh, hours and minutes. You know, uh, one zero one 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 two one three one four all the way up to whatever. It prints out th this sort of thing. Um, you can do uh, nested queries here um, in SQL, where. You can do this type of thing, where the where statement you're applying to something that's um, sort of in uh, inside of a another query itself, and then here you put um, another query. So select distinct this this thing, um, but because uh, uh, yeah, this is our our second class. Um, uh, in just two days, and the holidays coming up, I want to give you guys a choice. I guess would you rather me go through this now or um, uh, let off class a little bit early? We've covered basically all of the syntax that I care about, and um, or that I think is going to be useful in SQL. Um, I do want to cover this sort of phenomenon. Um, yeah. Class early. Okay. Great. Well, then let's do that then. Wonderful. Okay. Well, yeah. So um, this uh, next week um, we'll pick up here. There's not a whole lot to say more about SQL, but you know we'll start talking more about um, the projects and um, troubleshooting and stuff like that over the next couple of weeks. But um, yeah, uh, all of the SQL stuff, I mean, it, yeah, that, all that's downhill. So great. Well then, I hope you have a, uh, a good holiday weekend and I will see you next Tuesday. Thank you.